Matt Forgatch joins me of Pepperdine Baseball Redshirt Senior. Matt, thanks for taking some time to hang out with us. Anytime, glad I can make it. Now, Matt, you come from Denison University, small school back in Ohio, played ball there, had a year left to come to Pepperdine. Mm -hmm. Looking at Denison a little bit, notice you have some famous alumni. You know, I'm a big fan of the office. I love Steve Carell. They get, well, we get a little picture of him put in our mailbox. He had a big old mustache back nice. when he, it's a, uh, no, but it's, it's pretty funny to know that he was, you know, living in the same dorms that we were. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a smaller school, only a little over 2,000 undergrad, mm -hmm. but a lot of alumni I know as a football guy, Woody Hayes, the famous Ohio State football coach, also an alumni there, so I know that's fun for you. No, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool to have, you know, such a big alumni base for a little school out in the middle of nowhere, Ohio. Yeah, absolutely. And so you played ball there for, for three years, had one year of eligibility left. Why Pepperdine? You know, I looked at a lot of schools coming out of Denison, and I mean, some schools were in Ohio, and I thought there's no way I can go yeah. through another year out here. I, I had to come back home, close to where I live, and there's no better place to go to school. I mean, put, getting to practice every day, looking down at the ocean, it's just, it's the most amazing campus in the world. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. And Matt, you come here primarily, you've played in a designated hitter role this year. What's the, has been the biggest transition going from positional player to a DH? You know, it's tough being a DH. I mean, when things are going good, it's easy. But when, you know, things are going bad, you have to just sit there and wait innings and innings to, to think about how you screwed up. So at least playing in the field, you get to take your mind off it a little bit. But, you know, it's just, uh, it's just you and the at-bats at DH. So I like it, but it's, it's been a tough transition. And you also have this thing as a DH that you've kind of created since being here as when we're at, when Pepperdine's up to bat throwing a bat over your shoulder and doing some pacing thing how did that originate you know I don't really know we were playing Oklahoma it was you know tense game two we were looking for a big win and I couldn't talk to people I couldn't stand still I had to just start moving around I had to have a bat in my hands and yeah. it just sort of took off so whenever it gets uh, pretty tense I I can't talk to anyone I gotta I gotta go off my own world and that's your that's your cue for everyone else don't talk don't talk to Gatch right here he's in his zone he's focusing we, we've joked about maybe getting you an axe or something <laughs> as you're walking around because you're you know so intimidating with there just kind of pacing back and forth kind of as the gatekeeper <laughs> or whatnot <laughs> Matt, what's been your favorite thing so far this year playing at Pepperdine? I mean, it's been a great experience. You know, I've said it so many times, I couldn't have made a better choice coming out to Pepperdine. I mean, just an amazing coaching staff, great, you know, people that I've been fortunate enough to play with. I mean, it could have been so easy to show up and just be kind of that outsider, you know, fifth year guy that nobody really talks to. But I mean, it's just, you know, it's an amazing group of people on the team and I'm having so much fun getting to play with them every day. That's awesome. Matt, you come from, you're the oldest of four brothers, which just is a recipe for competitiveness. Only can imagine the two-on-two -two games that you guys play growing up. What's, what is the favorite, as you look back, the favorite two-on-two -two games that you, you guys played? We came up with a lot of football games to play, uh, but the most fun were when me and the middle brother could convince the two youngest to play on the same team, and we just beat up on them the whole time. So we always had a good time with You'd that. Get to take out some aggression. That's right. Well, it's a lot of, when they're much smaller than you, they can't fight back very much, so it's, it's always nice to have them on a the team. And Matt, as we look ahead, to kind of as you guys are approaching the midway, past the midway point of this season, what's going to be key to finish the season strong for the team? You know, we just need our studs to keep doing what they're doing. John Moss guys just keep firing. Him and Scott Fraser can, you know, be real solid one-two punch on Friday and Saturday. And you know, we got to keep swinging the bat. But we've been led by Joe Sever, who's playing out of his mind. So hopefully, he can keep that pace up, and we can give him a little bit of help offensively. Yeah. Well, Matt, we appreciate you taking some time out to join us. Matt Forgatch, redshirt senior here for Pepperdine Baseball. Hey, thank you very much, Jordan.